Welcome back to Ultra Kill, the only game that has me actually scared of what Hikita has next. Let me guide you through my first playthrough of Layer 7. After descending the elevator further into hell, we've made it all the way to Discord Light Theme, or the Garden of Forking Paths. I should really not be surprised by this game at this point, but the level starts as an entire JoJo reference, and you can't tell me otherwise. Wait, do they? No way! <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> Oh, 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 hey, <laughs> okay, that's great. Leaving the first room and catching up on some light reading, the world is your canvas, so take up your brush and paint the world red. And immediately getting distracted by a secret after I had told myself not to look for secrets. There's a secret, hold up. I hear it. It's... Okay, not there. Is it below me? Haha! -ha! I find the first red skull. That's a lot of dudes. Do they 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 don't Man, <laughs> just I, I was hoping this guy right here, because he was looking like he was getting really into it. I was hoping he was gonna start like Busting up some dance moves. That would have been great. Oh. That's kind of creepy. Um. You guys are doing great. Let me just leave you with that. Anyway, red was over here. Oh, that door opens. All right. Oh, look, quick. Why are they so fast? Hello? They're on the walls, they're on the ceilings! I was not ready for that speed, what the hell? <laughs> Experiencing one of the new enemies in the game, I then get distracted by finding more secrets. I swear, the attention span of a goldfish. And then I immediately proceeded to secret hunt, and... This is fine. Okay, no. Get me out. Wrong shotgun. Spending the next 10 minutes lost in a level, exploring around, looking for the correct path, I finally made it into the subway station. And then proceed to have S-1 flashbacks. Sir, can you turn the lights back on? As much as I hated the light mode, I, I, I hate the horror level more. <laughs> After pleading with the Cerberus statue, I then make it to the subway station and catch a ride. Just telling a few passengers to be quiet, I was then greeted with the first boss. Oh, he kind of small. Oh, the ground hurts. Got it. The Minotaur, though not a hard fight, it did come with a few gimmicks like the floor is hot lava, and the platform is really small. Him, it's fine. Oh. After a few deaths and never understanding the parry timing of the fight, I made my way off the cart and onto 7-2. Okay. okay, all right. Listen here, you... Thing. Words hard all of a sudden. I need blood. Give me. All right. We're, okay. Don't do that. No. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Fighting the Minotaur Part Two came with its own challenges. One being the jump scare. Two being it's surprisingly fast for its size. But killing it on the second try, I now make my way to 7-2. <laughs> that was... That was awesome. <laughs> that only took me 20 minutes. 7-2 starts with some light platforming, which I am super good at. These guys, but then he, then he hit me with a JoJo pose, and now I, now I feel like I should... Now I feel like I, I, I'm not going to... Okay. Then throws you straight into a new enemy, much like the prologue. What is that? 
Big Daughter Man? What do you look like? You kind of look like Big Daddy. Dying to it once because my inability to read. I'm gonna quick work of it the second time. No, no, no. Bioshock Big Daddy. No, my gun. Um... This game took a very different turn from what I was expecting it to. Wanting so to experience this level correctly, I jumped to the chessboard and immediately died. Oh, hey, a sword machine. It's been a while since we've seen one of those. Okay, we're just gonna give up on the pairing because I can't do it. I lied, we're not gonna give up on the pairing because I need to do it. <laughs> so going at it again, I killed the gutter man and the sword machine on the chessboard and make my way through the clock tower and into the subway station first try. Finish the map in less than five seconds. Or oh no, why did I shoot that? Okay, fine, second try. I then make my way to a wall telling a me boom? I need a bigger bomb. Hopping on a cart and riding at the checkpoint, admiring the machines in the background, Those I'm caught with cool. no money to pay the toll. Like, I don't mean to always have that gun out. It's just the easiest button for me to push right now. <laughs> Using the gunnerman's wallet, I make it to the end of the line and now need a red skull going through the starcraft one tunnels i make it to the skull yoink payload after another great fight i make my way to the nuke All I know is that whoever... ride the cart back to the hole chat then i should get off of this legalize nuclear bombs legalize nuclear bombs <laughs> <laughs> that was that was great we're going back to kill these guys Take out some more machines and into the maze. Failing to dodge the boogeyman, I found my way through. That was the wrong shotgun. Making my way to 7 3. Ooh, hydrate, okay. <laughs> nice. 7 3 starts it off feed by us. telling me to we feed will us. Grow. I feel like and make my way through the hedge maze until we get to the tree. I feed the tree, then do normal oh, things go. like going oh, on the designated we can go path. Really high. After a few minutes of secret finding, I get to the second tree. We feed oh, it the souls of the fallen, and on my way to the third, <laughs> when we <laughs> accidentally <laughs> walked into oh. the tree. Oh, this is this is nice. Apologize. I think that bitrate just died. <laughs> okay, note to self. That the old enemies don't like the new. After aiding Switzerland in World War Three, I then went to go feed the third tree. Now you have me excited because I third tree fed. I head back to the main tree and head down. Now, this room not only killed me a few times, but it also decided on its own, I don't need a frame rate anymore. And it also decided that I don't need to copy in my screen anymore either. What hand do I have out? I can't tell! Finally fitting the tree in that room, I make my way to 7-4. Okay, that room was kind of nuts. I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> Seven four. The only way I can describe this level is that it is an experience. Oh, a damn good one of that.
Much like P-2, it starts with an enemy gauntlet level level while climbing the Earth Mover until you make it down to the security system. Earth shattering booms every 10 seconds. Um. V1, I guess, doesn't need to make sense. Now can I hit this? Okay, now I can hit this. Huh. Neat. God of War be like, right? After a Have pretty fun mid boss, we make our way inside. Well, quick. Go, go, this is a good time to mention that the soundtrack of these levels are amazing. And this track from Heaven Piercer is one of my favorite in the game so far. We out! Make our way to the oh, top, right? okay. to the core of the machine. Oh! As for bosses in video games, I would rate this fight a really good out of fun. The fight is simple. Break the statue, and when the shield is down, break the core. But luckily, I made this fight way harder than it needed to be um, by not doing damage to the core when the shield is down. After more attempts than I would like to admit... No, I need the help! Son of... I missed the parry, no! <laughs> oh, the amount of brain power this is taking for some stupid reason. I killed the earth mover and am told to escape. Um Okay. I missed the platform. <laughs> you probably got the new chapter. What do you mean, finally? It just came out that day. If this level was not already good enough, this oh, final good. gauntlet is the icing on the cake. Ninja Kirby Cheeky Cheers! <laughs> Thanks for him! Fraud is still under development. For news in our progress on committing fraud, please visit us on YouTube. <laughs> or Twitter it is. <laughs> anyway. Holy crap! That was... Uh, that was kind of insane. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna lie, that was... That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed that. Don't don't worry about the ranks here. They're they're just they're there for now. I I'm not gonna P rank them right now. If you made it to the end here, thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you have not played Ultra Kill, I would highly recommend this game to everyone, as it is video gaming at its finest. Also, please like and subscribe. I really wanna monetize this channel so I can hopefully make these videos better and faster. And it just, it really helps me out. So please, if, if you enjoyed this and want to see more of it, please like, subscribe. Until then, enjoy the hell, Vader, until Gluttony comes out.